So I was watching a film yesterday with Jack Hammer, and it's funny. There's a million things happening. You're looking at the offensive line, the quarterback, the, the play calls, and then you miss stuff. And I'm looking in the comment section, and people be like, Ike was open. Ike was open. And you go back and be like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then it's like over and over and over again. And I went through it again this morning. I found 12 plays that he didn't get the ball or targeted that he was open. Maybe some people felt I was – it was borderline. I found 12 plays where I thought he was open. Now, I'm not saying he shouldn't – like there were some other completed passes when he, but still, dude. I mean, he's open all the freaking time. This narrative that he's like inconsistent, or I don't see it. I think he's still really good, and he just doesn't really have a very good relationship with the quarterback of this team. What do you think? I think that a lot of those routes that he was open on were outside the numbers. Yeah, outs, a lot of outs. Yep. Don't, yep. I don't think I have to elaborate. Up the field. Yeah. I don't think I have to elaborate anymore. I've already been called a Jimmy Hater a million times, um, even though I'm just analyzing what I'm seeing. But everything's over the middle of the field. Uh, I feel like a broken record. Jimmy wants to get the ball out quickly, quick release, mm -hmm. middle of the mm -hmm. field, hope for mm -hmm. some yak, and, mm -hmm. you know, and then his answer, some shit happened. I, I just can see how I, you can get frustrated. It's like, yeah. look, I'm, I'm running down. Oh, and then I'm watch, his, watch his body language, too. Yes. Like, he's turning and spinning around like, dude. I understand he he dropped the tunnel yeah. screen. I get that. He did. But that's that's no reason to stop going to him. But no, again, and he starts beating Trent Sherfield with the game on the line with Ayuk open on the other side of the field both times. But again, where are these routes going? Outside the numbers. Yeah. He he, he couldn't even hit the wheel. So it's a But what check. I wanted to say is like I can see Ayuk getting frustrated in the, in practice, even like, look, man, I'm running these routes really hard. I'm getting down, I'm running far down the field. You never throw me the ball. And now I'm in trouble because I took a couple. I, I didn't run. You're not going to throw it to me if I do. So what's the big deal? And now I'm the one getting in trouble for not being professional. When you're Mr. Checkdown over here, I can see him getting frustrated. At least he ran. Uh, at least he ran hard. I hope the He's GPS chip caught it. He blocks hard. He blocks his ass off, by the way. Yeah. Um. Gets open a lot. Gets a lot of flack. I think I don't really like the way they're developing. A young, a young guy as a rookie gets five targets a game. His second year, you scale him back for what reason? How does that help him in any way? It hurts his confidence. I don't know. He's a good player. I, I'm a little concerned about it's not about what they're doing with him because it's not they're giving him like the Dante Pettis treatment at times. Like oh, we're freezing you out. Like dude, wait a second. You're fr you're hurting your own offense. Stop throwing to Trent Sherfield. Nothing he, uh, against him, but you freezed him out for a week for a month and a half, and now you're like, well, he's back. Yeah, he Trent. he he's doing his job and getting open. He can't throw it to himself. Thank you. Period. Mateo says Kyle is smarter than we get him than we give him credit for. He's hiding Lance and waiting to unleash him soon so teams don't have tape. Expect the unexpected, Grant. That's what I'm saying. For this, chess. He's, today with this week would be a great week to just one play of Lance in the red zone because I bet you the Bengals are thinking they're not gonna play him. They're not gonna play him. We don't have to prepare. Ten maybe ten minutes in practice one day. 